guys, Rival Boss here, and today I'm bringing you guys a 32 gig image that I have found, and I feel like this image is really cool. It uses Recall Box and uh, Cody, and I just felt like it has a lot of really cool like backgrounds and everything, and a lot of really cool rare ROMs. Um, and I felt like this was also a really good image to kind of go over uh, things like you know overlays and filters and shaders and how to get rid of overlays and how to get rid of shaders and add shaders and make make it basically look like a CRT or not a CRT however you freaking want to so that's gonna be in the second video this first video that you're watching right now is gonna be basically just be an overview of this image and some of the cool ROMs and things that you can find on it maybe a couple of the features um, it's pretty self-explanatory as far as setup goes so we're good to go there uh, if you see this light change a little bit, this was filmed in two different times, one at 3 a.m. in the morning and one right now in the afternoon. Uh, so, you know, sit back and relax and check out the video and uh, get ready to see the second video that will be coming up if you want to learn how to do more of the filters and shaders and stuff. Anyway, thanks guys for all your support and love and comments. Uh, I really do appreciate it and the channel is just growing and growing and I'm working on that new image. I'm probably going to put out a uh, poll at some point to see what you guys want on that image. Uh, but anyway, I'm really excited and uh, enjoy the video. Okay guys, this is the Rival Boss and we're going to just kind of look over this image real quick. This is an image brought to you by YB. Uh, he did a little image uh, that has basically a uh, recall box and um, Cody on it and it's just a really cool setup. Uh, I love his art that he did for all these. If you notice all these cool tile, like they look like pixel art uh, backgrounds for all the images. Uh, we're going to go over that though. So yeah, let's look into this. So first off, we have 609 uh, uh, basically uh, Final Burn Alpha games. Uh, we have 313 Game Gear games. We have a nice 1375 main games. We have Sig Master System. 362. We have uh, Sega Genesis 937. We have your Neo Geo system. I believe most of these are arcade games. 146. We have your Nintendo Entertainment System 1341. We have a Neo Geo Pocket 76. We have your TurboGrafx 16 to get hyped for the TurboGrafx 16 Mini 286. We have a, a couple of Sega uh, TurboGrafx CD games 15. We have your good old 32X, 36 games. We have a couple good choice games of the Sega CD. There's 15 of them in there. We have uh, Super Nintendo. We have uh, 1,045. And we have of the uh, PC Engine Super Graphics, we have five. And of your Atari 2600, we have 554. So hopefully some good ones. Daphne, we have three games. I did test them. They do work. Uh, so there we go. Uh, some real cool features real quick that I'm going to go over this uh, image is that so inside of here uh, is Co this is like your Cody menu and you can go to your Coda Cody mini media center if you wanted to add some games in system settings is where you can update this thing. You can also uh, see how much storage you have left on the card. Uh, it is nice enough to also add you a scraper. So if you do put this on a bigger card, you could technically add more games. Um, in the game settings, it's really cool that you can add your game ratio right there. And I found that if you put this thing to pixel perfect right here, we're gonna find this uh, square pixel. I think that's what I want. Yeah, square pixel. Uh, that seems to be really good. Uh, you also have rewind features and smooth games. We're going to turn off that rewind feature right now. But yeah, you do have a rewind feature, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then you also have your shader sets. We're going to turn on scan lines for you. And we're going to put on the pixel perfect for later. Okay. Uh, also, real quick, just uh, another really cool thing this has is down here in advanced settings, you actually can overclock this thing. Uh, to either extreme turbo, high, or none. I set mine on high. That seems to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, really cool. You got your Cody settings as well as your boot things. Uh, the other neat thing I noticed about connecting to the network is that you can actually enter your, um, your key via, you don't even have to plug in a keyboard. So that's really cool. I'm going to cancel out of that right now. But yeah, really cool. Um, neat image. Uh, so in drag, we're just going to go through the difference and then we're going to play some games, guys. 
So, Daphne, we have some Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2, and Space Ace. And like I said, I did test all these, and they do seem to work, um, which is pretty exciting. Now, the Final Burn Alpha games were where I was really excited. Uh, I will say, uh, tell you right away, that this image is not really for uh, houses with small children, uh, you know, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds running around. It has a lot of great games in here, but I noticed there is also, this is a great bachelor pad kind of game because there are, uh, you will see them here in a little bit. There are some, uh, you know, adult oriented games. Let's just say that in this. And uh, that's, that's kind of exciting because you don't really see those very often. Um, but, oh, and they have all the bubble bobble games. I love the bubble bobble games. We're gonna play some of those in a little bit here. Um, I was just going to show you guys these uh, adult games here. Oh, that's not a very nice one. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of these games in here. And if I'm flicking around too fast, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to show you. There is Darius Gaiden in here. That is freaking awesome. Um, and uh, I did try the Demon Front. Sadly, this doesn't seem to work. I, uh, in fact, I'll try it right now again. I reflashed this card, so who knows? Maybe this works. Probably not. No, it doesn't look like it's going to work. Like I said, Demon Front does not work, which is kind of sad. I did find a couple ROMs here and there that didn't work, but the majority of them work. Like 98% of them work. Uh, these are freaking awesome. I'm going to come back to these. Uh, I did set up my menu down here uh, if you want to know how to do it, but I'm going to save this for favorites later. So I'm going to show you the favorites menu. So we're going to save both of these. Um... But yeah, I was just kind of scrolling through here. You got double dragons. You got your, you know, Dragon Ball. You got, oh, this is a good game. We'll save that one for later, too. Um, you got your Capcom games. Oh, this is, a, oh, that was a great game, too. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the adult games. Um, where are they? So as you can see, they're uh, not at the very beginning. Oh, here we go. <laughs> gal panic games i guess is what we're looking for so yeah there's a couple adult games in here so just kind of be careful for, for houses that have like little kids and stuff uh, but man this image has some great great shoot 'em ups and really rare stuff i'm trying to remember where there's a marvel game in here i will probably get footage of it for you uh, but anyway uh this this is a really cool image uh so yeah we have a lot of little final burn alpha games we have your Game Gear games. Uh, this is all really nice. I, I do like the Game Gear. Um, you do have a lot of MAME games. I'm not going to go through all these right now, but this is where this is mostly an arcade uh, image. Like there's this, oops, there's a bunch of arcade games in here. Oops, I went the wrong way. There is a bunch of arcade games in here. Uh, this is, is kind of like that um, Wolfram's 32 arcade only. There is just a ton of arcade games. You will find so many fun games in here, guys. I highly, highly recommend this image. I would recommend it over the arcade only image even. Um, you got your Sega Master System. Of course, you've got Golden Axe Warrior. Come on, let's go find it. Does it in here? You know it is. You know it is. Because I wouldn't be showing you this image. Okay, I have showed you images in the past that do not have Golden Axe Warrior. But as you know, I always have to go check out to make sure if Golden Axe Warriors in there. It is. Uh, you got your Sega Genesis. It looks really nice. Uh, as you can notice, uh, all the games have uh, box art, the cartridge, and a screenshot. No videos. That's fine, though, because he crammed in more images. Uh, you got your Neo Geo. Of course, you got your Metal Slugs. Of course, you got all your, uh, you know, all your good games. Blazing Star, you know, everything. Cross Swords. Cross Swords 2, by the way, which is super rare. So we're going to also save that for later. Um, you got your Nintendo Entertainment System. Of course, everything you would ever want. In the, and, and, and by the way, some of them do have the nice little um, names of the games too. Neo Geo Pocket did not ever own one, so I've heard it's a good system. TurboGrafx-16, you can get all pumped up now and get ready to play the TurboGrafx-16 Mini that is going to be coming out. If you guys didn't know that was coming out, uh, you know, get some news. I should probably provide that. I need to do a rival news, I guess, on that. I am super pumped. Uh, TurboGrafx CD, Genesis 32X. Uh, of course, you know, if you've never played the original, uh, what's that game called? Uh, Space Harry, yes. This is a great version of this. 
Um, Sega CD, you've got a couple good ones. I did was a little bummed that there was no, um, you know, uh, shoot, Konami, uh, Kojima's game. Oh man, I'm uh, mind mind phrase, mind phrase. But some of these games are really good on the arcade one up. You got your Road Avengers, you got your Lords of Thunder, of course. Um, you, you know, your Super Nintendo, of course, you got it. Uh, I do like the little graphics too that he's added here. Uh, and yeah, and then now we can see my favorites that I just added here, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'm gonna show you guys something really neat. Okay, so let's show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, when we go into this game, you're gonna notice something right away. So here we go, we're gonna boot this up. Right away, you're gonna notice, hey, Rival, there's overlays. You don't like overlays. Well, I don't most times, but guess what? These are already set up to fit on your arcade one up. They are not over. There's no overlap here and they fit. They fit perfect and they look great. Uh, there is also going on right now. If you don't see it, there is a basically a um, shader that is making this look like an old classic CRT. Uh, and if you don't really see like you can see the uh, the arcade one up graphic here and then you see this main graphic that's like a gray. And it looks really good on this arcade one up and it's already been sized. Um, so real quick, we're going to just play some games. And uh, by the way, if you want to get rid of this or change the shaders, the second video is for you. OK, and it's just going to go over how to do that with all images, not just this one, but just in general, how to get rid of all shaders and stuff. But we're going to pop some coins in here and just show you a little bit of gameplay. Eh, Roger. So this is a really cool game. I have the volume turned down, guys, so if it, it's bothering you, you know, let me know. Uh, but anyway, this game is really cool. I remember playing this one in an arcade once. Oh, he's going to help me. Oh, yeah. I almost always hit those stupid uh, flowers, so I'm kind of proud of myself for not hitting the flowers. Ah. Really cool little arcade kind of beat em up, kind of like uh, Strider-ish almost a little bit. My axe, and I got an axe. Ah. Pretty neat little game. I'm just kind of showing you guys. Pretty neat, right? Okay, guys, here's another really cool game on the image. Uh, if you notice, I've done away with the shaders now, and I've also done away with the overlay. Again, if you want to see how to do that, watch the second video, but we're just kind of showing you some more really cool gameplay. Uh, what's my options? Let's do her. This game is really cool, guys. I tell you what. Just a really cool shooter. And uh, when you boot these games up, unless you've overrid them and follow those instructions, they will start with uh, overlays on them. But all the overlays and stuff will already be set up and be like, you know, so the screen won't be messed up. And uh, most times the ratios will also be correct on on that. So it's really cool. It's a really cool, well set up image. I just blasted the heck out of that guy. That was pretty awesome. All right, let's play some more games. So you'll see that I've uh, turned the overlays back on for, well, they were already started on, but, and it's got this nice CRT look to it. Uh, so let's insert some coins. Like I said, they seem to be the arcade ROMs of these games, which is good. I rather have the arcade ROMs. I don't, I don't need to know how to play. I know how to play. I love, the second one is so cool because you get to pick your character, I guess we get to pick our quest too, guys. Uh, don't hate on me because I haven't played this game for a long time. <laughs> okay, so I think I just hit away. Yeah, and then, oh, there's my dodge. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Okay, oh, that's right. When they're up close, I can hit them left or right. Yeah. Oh, I got rocked. But really cool game. 
And I, I think the overlay look, makes it look really nice. So here we have our Sega CD game. And as you can see, everything is set up in the right ratio again. Real cool. I always think it's cool that you can emulate the Sega CD's memory thing too. You should go in there if you press A and do the, the thing. I, I just thought that's cool. If you've never play, uh, seen my little shooters list, by the way, I made a video on this uh, Kiko's Flying Squadron game, and I rated it as one of my favorite all-time cute em ups in one of my earlier videos. And I'm just showing you a little bit. It's got some great animation. Uh, again, uh, I have the nice uh, CRT filter on with the nice overlays. Uh, here's the game running. It's now oh, it's going to have to load real quick. Got to wake that dragon up. Wake up, dragon. There we go. Real cute little game. Real cute em up. If you've never played this game, it's a lot of fun. I am killing raccoons. Raccoons rowing boats that are flying. There we go. Pretty neat, right, guys? Let's go to our next game. Okay guys, now we have some Space Harrier. As you can see, I've done away with the overlays again on the same image. I've also expanded the image to be full size and I've bumped the camera, that's a party foul. But I've also added my favorite CRT filter. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a really cool CRT filter. And I'll just show you real quick, I'm gonna turn that CRT filter back off just by going down here. And again, I'll show you guys this. Oops, I messed up because I need to go down there and apply. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you that in the other video. Uh, but yeah, like there's no scan lines now. So kind of a neat little thing you can do with this image very quickly. Oh yes, Jackie Chan, this is your game. Uh, yeah, there's some really weird, cool ROMs on here and this is just one of them. Uh, if you've never seen this Jackie Chan fighting game, yeah, you're missing out. <laughs> I don't know what you're missing out, but you're missing out on something. Uh, it's really um, odd. Like, we could be this Sonya character, and you can fight a dragon. Uh, Kim Mari, apparently, and I'm going to fight the mysterious lion. Oh my gosh, what is my plan? And again, I'm going to really quickly just go over just to show you guys that you can play these all in full screen if you want to. So we're just going to bring up that menu and I will show you guys how to do it in the other video. Uh, but it, basically, you're going to just go to overlays, turn those overlays off, go back, go to your quick menu, oh, go down to settings, actually, go to your video, change your video size to the cor correct one, and then turn off this integer scale full screen that quick and I will show you guys how to save that for other for the images and stuff like that that will be coming in the second video but yeah just kind of showing you that you can do it and there's a lot of blood in this so just to show you guys too this is bubble bobble 2 and as you can tell it's struggling a little bit to play this uh, so what I'm going to show you real quick to how to do is remember how I said you could overclock it. Look how fast this is. Ready? So we're going to go back. We're going to basically go and press the start button. We're going to go down to the advanced settings. We're going to max that out to extreme. It's going to say it needs to, uh, to reboot. And it's going to reboot real quick. It's going to give us a cool little screen. Uh, there's lots of different opening screens with this recall box. Uh, so here we go. It's gonna reboot. Just to kind of show you, we got Recall Box Super Multi Systems 2 version 6. Point press play again. Apparently made by Hudson Sops. Can I return it? It's made by Hudson. So yeah. But uh, yeah, and then you can just easily go back into that ROM. And I'm gonna go down here real quick. Uh, come on, Bubble Bubble. Where are you, Bubble Bubble? There we go. And I will tell you still, sometimes these games, even with the max settings, they will have trouble. Your best bet, I'll show you right now, is to just get rid of all the filters. So we're just going to turn off, you know, the overlays first. Any shaders, we don't need any shaders. No shaders needed, thank you very much. 
And then I would also recommend, uh, oh, well, we'll just see. Let's see if that runs, how that runs. So we're going to put our coins in. Much better. Sounds still a little off, but it's much better than it was, right? And I don't know if you've know this, but this game actually takes a lot to play this. Or at least more. Audio is not 100%, but it is working, which is cool. And it's very playable. Very cool game. Next. In case you did wonder, yes, this game does have all those Marvel games. Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Superheroes, Marvel Street Fighter. Yeah, they're all here. So, you know, get our new arcade one up. That thing has pretty box art, but you can play them here first. Here's another one I bet you haven't played before. This is called OS Man, and it's kind of like Strider. It's made by Capcom. Uh, as you can see, again, those nice little uh, already perfectly fits in this image. Didn't have to do a single thing, just boot it up, and here we go. It's working. And as you can see, this game is kind of like Strider. Really cool. Uh, we got the scan lines on. Uh, really just pretty image. Um, I really like this this image. It's a really neat image. It's probably my favorite 32 gig image. Now, because people always ask me, yeah, this image does not seem to have any killer instinct. Uh, we do have Karnov, though. Um, but also, there I will show you in just a second, there is a ton of Street Fighters. But yeah, this is like older, uh, you know, arcade ROMs than that. Uh, doesn't seem to have any type of killer instincts. Uh, just tons of really cool, rare stuff. Like, you will find treasures after treasures in this image that you have never played before. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I'm not kidding. This is an awesome image just to kind of download and try because there is just so many cool things that you have probably never played. Uh, let me show you the Street Fighter. So because this is on a Street Fighter cab, this image is really good because what you have pretty much every Street Fighter minus Street Fighter 4 and 5. You got Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 Alpha, you got Street Fighter Hyper Fighting, you got Champion Edition, you got World Warrior, you got Street Fighter 3, Second Impact, Third Impact, New Generation, uh, Street Fighter Zero, Street Fighter Zero, what is the European? Uh, zero Two, Zero Three. Oh man, so many Street Fighters. Did I sound like the Micro Machine Man? I was trying to sound like the Micro Machine Man. But yeah, there's this, yeah. So, you know, in 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 wraps, this is basically the image. Uh, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna kinda, the next video is gonna show you how to mess around with all those shaders and stuff. So sit back and enjoy. So, so if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, you know, we're getting up to 2,000. I'm going to have my own image, a new one for 2000, um, and I'm working on it hard uh, on my off time. And uh, yeah, so this is this image. I'm just going to play a couple games real quick here at the end to kind of just show off the different images and these nice little, you know, side overlays and how they perfectly work with this arcade one up. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. You guys are awesome. Couldn't do it without you. Thanks so much. Mm-hmm.